Now, like you, I can't stand woke athletes, the people who try to tell us how we should live our lives while they're multi-millionaires, while equally pretending that they are somehow downtrodden people. Well, woke is never a good business model. When it came to the Emmys last night, they had their lowest television viewership ever for the annual handing out of golden trophies to millionaires, and people didn't want to watch hours and hours and hours of browbeating like this. Black lives matter. Say it with me, Jimmy. Black, Black lives, lives matter. matter. There was, of course, the razor company that decided, and of course I would be ideologically opposing to them, but uh, the razor company, Gillette, who decided to go woke in a Super Bowl ad that was all about toxic masculinity. Bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual toxic harassment. masculinity. Their business went backwards. And when it comes to sport, the oh-so-woke athlete may well have control of social media, but when it comes to an actual competition, how do they do? Let me introduce you to an oh-so-woke athlete, a bloke who was fighting in the UFC this weekend. Tyrone Woodley is his name and he's all in on the cause. Are you kind of happy you don't have to put up with this stuff today? I'm just excited that Black Lives Matter. Is that shocking to you at all? He hasn't gone into more like he normally does? Um, you know, I'm just really excited that Black Lives Matter. Would you keep yourself ready to be a fill-in opponent on a title fight or are you at a point in your career where you wouldn't, wouldn't do that? I feel like, you know, the victory here just really shows how much Black Lives Matter. Would you like to use this platform to deliver any messages to everyone out there? Just that Black Lives Matter. Who was he fighting? Well, he was fighting this bloke, Colby Covington. He's at the opposite end of the woke spectrum. He's a good friend of Donald Trump's. Even takes the Make America Great Again hat into the Oval Office and gives him the title belt. Well, guess what happened in the fight? MAGA beat BLM and easily. And to celebrate, in the post-match press conference, he received a phone call, put it on speaker, and it was the MAGA man himself congratulating the athlete who defeated the BLM warrior. No one's ever heard of, so no one's ever finished him like that and beat him that dramatically. So this is the best I've ever looked. And oh, the POTUS is calling me, Mr. President. You gonna put that on speaker for us or what, Mr. President? <laughs> You are a great fighter, man. I'll tell you. You make it so easy. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Congratulations. I wanted to watch that fight tonight. I wanted to watch it. You were great. Thank you so much, Mr. President. You ah, take that, woke. Go woke, go broke. Be it television, be it razors, or even on the sporting field.